Welcome to Electron Line. Continuing with the definition of what a determinant is, now we're going to take a look at the notation of the determinant and how to calculate a determinant. Let's say we have a matrix, given the matrix A, and here we have a matrix that's 3 by 3, and we have therefore 3 rows, and we have 3 columns. So the rows are horizontal and the columns are vertical. Notice the subscript, these are the what we call the elements of the matrix. Also notice that the difference between a matrix is that the vertical lines here holding in the elements have those little end lines that are horizontal, which you do not see when you calculate the determinant. So that's the difference between a matrix and a determinant. But again, starting with the matrix, notice that the subscripts have the row first and the column second. So this is row one, column one, row one, column two, row one, column three, row two, column one, and so forth. So the elements have the subscripts. We use small letter A for matrix A, small letter B for matrix B, and so forth. That's the usual way of doing it. And notice that the row comes first and the column comes second. So assuming that that's our matrix, then this would be the determinant of that, that matrix. We write it as DET for determinant of the matrix A is equal to the matrix A with these lines like that. This is kind of like the absolute value symbols. It's also the lines that we use to hem in the elements of the matrix, which now become the elements of the determinant. And the way you calculate the determinant, remember, you're supposed to come up with a single value number, a single number that indicates what the determinant is of that matrix. And the way it's done is you take negative one raised to the ij power. Now again, i and j stands for the row and the column of the first upper left element. So you start with A11, I is 1, J is 1, and so actually it's not multiplied. I should write it as I plus J. I have to plus correct J. that. This is actually I plus J. There we go. So it's I plus J. And so we take negative 1 raised to the 1 plus 1. That's an even number, so this becomes positive. So it's positive 1 times A11 times what's left in the determinant. What that means is you're going to get rid of that column, column one, get rid of row one, and then you all, all you have left is these four elements right here, and then you multiply these two together, the diagonals together, and then subtract from that when you multiply those two together. So it's A2 times A33 minus A23 times A32. Then you go plus, again, number negative one raised to the i plus j power, because now we take the second element, and we have i and j, that's one and two, so one plus two is three, so minus one to the third power makes this a negative one. You take this element right here, and you multiply it times, well, when you get rid of this row and this column, then you're left with those four elements. So you get a21 times a33, minus a23 times a31 plus again minus 1 to the i plus j now in this case you take the final element in the upper row you have 1 and 3 so you add 1 plus 3 gives you 4 minus 1 to the fourth power is again a positive quantity that would be positive 1 times a13 and again if you get rid of this row and this column you have those four elements left and you multiply those two together a21 times a32 minus, multiplying those two together, A22, A31. Later on, we'll show you some examples of how to do that. Here, I simply want to show you the definition of what a determinant is, and we'll worry about actually how to implement that in some later videos. But anyway, that's how you would calculate the determinant. All these would simply be numbers, and this would give you a single number, a single constant, so to speak, which would then be the determinant of your matrix. If you have a two by two matrix, let's say we have the matrix B, which then only has four elements, then to find the determinant of a two by two matrix is a whole lot easier than a three by three or even a four by four. And so we write it as this again, B with the little lines on it. So you take the four elements with the vertical lines. We don't have any horizontal end pieces on there. And then all you have to do is multiply the diagonals, B11 times B22 minus the product of those diagonals, B12 times B21. And this would then be a single number giving you the determinant of the matrix B. So the determinant is simply a single number 
obtained by multiplying the elements of your matrix in such a way multiplying, adding, and so forth, that you get a single number which then represents the determinant of your n by n matrix. It has to be a square matrix, and that's how it's done.